Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Stark side. While you're here, I do appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe as well as a notification bell. I have observed that I think around 97% of the people who view my videos don't subscribe. So please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And today we'll be talking about the Marvel Legends, Peter Parker and Ned Leeds Spider-Man Homecoming 2-pack. So this 2-pack, it comes as a part of the Beyond Amazing or the 60 Amazing Years line for Spider-Man. And I like how Hasbro just, uh, they choose to uh, release figures of uh, older versions of our, our favorite characters uh, lately. Like with some older Iron Man figures, so I do like that a lot. But anyway, so this two-pack comes in the new windowless packaging as part of Hasbro's attempts to be eco-friendly. But like with the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, I am not a fan of this new packaging. But anyway, so here at the front, we get some nice artwork of the two figures. At the top, we get the old Spider logo for Tom Holland Spidey in the MCU. At this side, we get some nice digital renders of the figures in these vanilla poses. At the other side, we get a nice artwork of the Spider-Man homemade suit and a logo of Midtown School of Science and Technology. At the back, we don't get any bio for either character, so that's that's a bit of a bummer with this uh, new windowless packaging. But we do get more artwork of the figure plus the accessories that they come with. All right, let's get Ned and Peter out of the packaging. This is not good for us. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Hurry, Peter. Hope this works. Yes! Yes, Ned. <laughs> and here we have Peter Parker and Ned Leeds out of the packaging. So before we talk about both of these figures, let's go over the accessories. So starting with Ned, so we get one pair of hands, this cool looking backpack, and an alternate masked head sculpt. So starting with the hands, the hands look good. The flesh tone does seem to be consistent and accurate. I do wish we got some other interchangeable hands for Ned, but I think this is alright. We also have this backpack, which looks really awesome. I love the camouflage pattern that it has here, and if you look closely, we do get some nice texturing on this piece as well. I've always wanted to have more bag accessories for some of my figures, especially MCU Spidey characters. And my only gripe about this piece is that the straps are sculpted for Ned specifically, so using them on other figures, it'll look really loose. We also get this masked head sculpt for Ned, which is really for that particular scene in Spider-Man Homecoming, where he wore Peter's mask for a moment, and I think it looks great. I like the shade of red, but it's better if they also paint it in the web lines. But for me, this isn't gonna be an issue since I'll be using the regular head sculpt more. Anyway, putting this on, and yeah, it fits in really good. Now, moving on to Peter Parker, so we have two pairs of interchangeable hands, another awesome looking backpack, and this notebook piece. Starting off with these grabbing hands, I do like how this turned out. I like how the grabbing action looks, so this is very likely for his notebook or when he's holding the straps of his bag, so I think this looks really good. We also get a pair of fisted hands which look nice, uh, no complaints there. We also get another backpack and I love how cool this looks. It seems to be accurate with one of the backpacks that he has from Homecoming. I like that the zippers and details were not overlooked so it's painted brown here. I like that. I also love all the wrinkles we get on this backpack piece. Wow. And there's also some texturing on the side pocket here where you usually put a water jug or water container. So this looks awesome. And unlike Ned's backpack, I like the position and size of the straps. So we can use this backpack on other figures like the Game Reverse Miles. And yeah, this looks really awesome. 
and we also get this notebook accessory which looks good but actually when you see it for the first time it doesn't really strike you as a notebook but yeah uh, anyway i still think it's nice they included one here might have been better if they added two but yeah this is nice and i also think that this is just the same piece as the winter soldier book accessory just painted differently now going over the figures themselves starting with ned so i think hasbro nailed the likeness of jacob Batalon. Uh, so a fun fact jacob Batalon is filipino and being one myself i love how marvel and sony included the tagalog dialogue and spider-man no way home and also choosing not to subtitle it i think it makes the film a bit more intimate for uh, us fans here in the philippines and moving on to the rest of the figure so i think this is done nicely so both of his and peter's outfits here uh, they're based on this scene in Spider-Man Homecoming where they were trying to track Vulture's movements. So the paint apps here look clean and accurate, I think. So we get some nice sculpted wrinkles all over uh, his shirt here. I do wish they could have made uh, his two shirts here to be separate pieces. Like how they do the leather jackets of some other figures like Jessica Jones and Punisher. It's actually going to hinder the articulation quite a lot, which I'll show later in this video. We also get this awesome looking watch here, which I think is similar, or I think it's just the same watch accessory that we get from the Netflix Luke Cage figure, uh, just painted black for Ned here. The pants also look good, so we get some nice faded paint apps here. I think it looks realistic, that's nice. And I also like how they added the folds here at the end, and yep. So yeah, cool looking shoes for Ned as well. Now moving on to Peter Parker. So I love how this head sculpt here completely nails the likeness of Tom Holland. I know that we've gotten really good head sculpts for Tom Holland's Peter Parker in the past years. Like with the Iron Spider 2 pack and the Walmart exclusive Far From Home Spider-Man. But personally, I think this new one here might be the best one yet. We also get another Peter Parker head sculpt, this time with a smile. And while the other one is very near perfection, uh, this one looks very creepy in my opinion. I do see the Tom Holland likeness, but I find this piece really horrifying to look at. And sometimes it kind of looks like Legolas, I think. So yeah, for me, I'll be using this regular head sculpt instead. Anyway, I think the rest of the figure looks really awesome. So here I like the texturing of the sweater and we also get his flannel shirt on the inside and wow, well, this figure feels really accurate. And yeah, we also get a lot of nice sculpted wrinkles here and on the sleeves. We also get this untucked portion of the flannel shirt and yeah, I like that they added it here. It feels really natural. The pants also look great. I like the color choice a lot. Again, we get some nice sculpted wrinkles all over the pants. And yeah, like Ned, Peter also has some awesome looking kicks here. Really nice. So yeah, I think these sculpt and paint apps on both of these figures look really great and awesome. Now let's go over the articulation for these two figures. So while the articulation on the Peter Parker figure is excellent, the articulation for Ned is a bit disappointing in my opinion. So starting off with Ned, so Ned can look up that far and downwards as well his head does rotate we get only a little bit of neck pivot while for his mask head sculpt we don't really get a lot of movement because the edge of the mask here covers the neck completely his arms can bend up for that far slightly above the 90 degree mark so that's great and he can bend them down i think he can bend them down all the way as well his shoulders do rotate 360. No biceps will, but we do get rotation here. The elbows are also uh, single jointed only, so that's a bit of a bummer, but I do kind of get that it's hard to sculpt. Anyway, his wrists do rotate and move up and down. We don't get torso articulation of any kind. Uh, actually, I have seen a video of other people taking off the shirt sculpt here. And I think this figure has some diaphragm pivot inside. I'm not sure. If you do guys know, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyway, however, because of the sculpt of his shirts here, we're not really able to use the diaphragm pivot if we want to 
make him bend forwards, backwards, or uh, sideways. I mean, if they could have given a bigger guy like Kingpin some decent torso articulation, I don't see why they went a different way with this figure. But we can actually still use the diaphragm pivot in another way, so you can rotate the waist a lot because of it. So I think that balances it out somehow. Moving on, Ned can kick forward only that far and not so much backwards. His hips move outward only that far, but I think this is accurate for Ned. He has an upper thigh cut, pinless double jointed knees. His ankles move up and down, but they're a bit hindered by the uh, scope of the folds here at the pants, so that's a bit of a bummer. Anyway, his ankles also rotate, and he has ankle pivot as well. Then with Peter, I think the articulation is excellent. So Peter Parker can look up that far and downwards quite a lot. His head does rotate and we do get a lot of neck pivot. And also, since the neck is a separate piece, we get a lot of range of motion with the neck articulation here. So I really like that a lot. His arms bend upward that far right at a 90 degree mark. That's great. And he can bend them down all the way as well. His shoulders do rotate 360. He's got a bicep swivel, pinless double jointed elbows. His wrists do rotate and move up and down. He has a diaphragm pivot that allows him to bend forward, backwards, sideways, and rotate side to side. His legs can kick forward very far, so that looks really awesome. And he can move them backwards quite a bit as well. His hips move outward very far, that looks great. He has an upper thigh cut, pinless double jointed knees. His ankles move up and down, they do rotate, and he has ankle pivot as well. Now for some figure comparisons, here's Ned Leeds and Peter Parker next to some other MCU characters. We have Iron Man and Doctor Strange. And I think these two figures scale up pretty well. And here's the Peter Parker figure next to some other MCU Spider-Man suits. So we have the Stark suit, the Iron Spider, the Far From Home upgraded suit, the Far From Home Stealth suit, the Integrated suit, and the What If suit. So I think uh, they all look great together side by side. And if you want some head swap, so the Peter Parker head is loose on the Stark suit. It sits high, too high on the Stealth suit. And I think it fits in well with the Iron Spider, the Far From Home suit, the Integrated suit, and the What If suit. So that's my review of the Marvel Legends Peter Parker and Ned Leeds 2-pack from Spider-Man Homecoming. And while Ned has some issues with the articulation and sculpt, I think he has some decent accessories and paint apps, so I still think he's a good figure. But for Peter, I think he has just the right amount of accessories, awesome paint apps and sculpt, and really excellent articulation. So I think Peter is a really, really excellent figure. Overall, I think these two figures make a great 2-pack for your collection. And if you're wondering where I got this figure, so I got this figure from the Red Lily Project. So they offer up the they offer up these new releases for trade. So you can offer up some of your old figures from Marvel Legends, Black Series, etc. In return, if you're low on cash, so if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this two pack. Let me know what you think of my review. Please leave a comment below. And I do appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you still haven't, please hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. You can also follow me on social media. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.